Hello friends, this is Jess from Knit Plan Jess. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. For my new viewers, welcome, and my returning viewers, welcome back. We are going to be doing a spread in my monthly um, for the week of, I want to say March 28th through April 3rd. So we're going to kind of do like a bujo type of spread. Um, so if you've been following me for a while, you know that my monthly is used for social media and I've, it's kind of changed over the, like the past few months, how I've used it. Um, so I was using it as like a schedule, I was using it for to do's. Then I I've started creating these additional planning pages, um, which these actually need to be put away now. Um, and then I also started using it for just to do's which I like, um, but now I think, I don't know how I'm gonna use it. So here's the problem is I, I have to, I, sometimes I like change. Sometimes I, I do like change. Sometimes I struggle with change, but when it comes to my planning though, I do need to change it up every now and then. So since I have no more of the checklist pages, um, I was going to be using this take note page and I thought it'd be really fun to do a blackout spread. So I have one of the black sheets of filler paper from the Happy Planner and then I decided that I wanted to obviously pair some acrylic graphs with it. Um, I have just a regular white and then I have some colors from the new Amanda Rach Lee set. Um, she's like a boojoer who has been around for like nine years or so. Um, so she collabed with Archer and Olive to create these beautiful colors. There's six others in the set, but these are the only four that I'm going to be using because they're very, very, um, muted and like pale tones. And then I also have two colors from the new Flourish set, um, that are also very muted and pale tones. I decided that I'm going to be using some of the Happy Planner clear stickers because it's on the blackout paper. And then I decided that I wanted to kind of do like a rainbow theme. Then I was like, you know, it could be really cool with like some, some circles to write on. Um, and then I decided, because this is the Archer and Olive, it's a rainbow notepad. This is in the B5 size. They actually had this on sale um, for $17 as part of like a St. Patrick's Day sale. Um, I've been, I had been looking at it. $17 is like half price. So I was like, that's perfect. Let's go ahead and get it. And I will, that way I can be able to kind of use ways to use like this colored paper in like my Bujo spread and then in my Happy Planner spreads as well. So I cut out these five circles and it's just kind of trying to figure out like how do I want to put them on the paper so then that way I can give it like a really Bujo feel and I think I actually kind of like this because then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put like some florals around it. I'm going to use the acrylographs to kind of like draw around it. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, I'm going to start by taking out the black paper and the sheet that I'm going to be adhering the black paper to because once I'm completely done with my spread, I'm going to use my Tombow, ad my Tombow adhesive and I'm going to adhere these together so that way when I'm looking at the planner, it goes from this page directly to this page. So, all right. And this is kind of what I have been like struggling with is trying to figure out how do I want to put the circles on the page? Like I don't mind if they kind of go off, um, but I kind of think that it would be really fun yeah, to have like some of them kind of going off the page. And then I think something like this, actually, let's, let's, let's do this. So I'm going to use my Tombow. This is the dots adhesive. Um, I really, really like it, but it's just, it's just like really secure, 
permanent adhesive tape. Um, I like this better than using something like, um, like a glue stick because this will not make the page curl. All right, now let's do the purple. And I'm just, I'm just vaguely going, well, vaguely, I'm just like very conservatively going outside of the, um, just going like around an outline because I am going to be putting down stickers. So that will also help secure it. And then just one down the middle. And then we've got yellow. Oop. And I will have to repunch some um the edge of the paper. So I will plan on doing that before I adhere this to um I'm going to do a little bit in the middle because this one is going to be actually coming off. Um, I will make sure to do that before I actually go to adhere the pages together. Okay, so now we've got that. Let's go ahead and trim off the excess. I always like to flip it over so then that way you can be looking at it from the back and you can see exactly what needs to be cut off. And a little bit on this side so there is there is a huge um, paperweight difference so I don't know how many pounds that the happy planner paper is my guess would be 28 to 32 pounds um, and I don't know what GSM that that is maybe I'll remember to drop like a little note or something that says what GSM that it is I know that the Archer and Olive uses 160 GSM, so it is thicker paper, which is why it's so perfect for a lot of, of arts crafts and such. Um, so like I can definitely tell like how much thinner that the Happy Planner paper is compared to the Archer and Olive, but I think that, that it'll be fine. So let's go ahead. I definitely want some florals. I'm not gonna use the silver florals though. We're gonna use the white. And what I was even thinking about doing, oh, I kind of wonder. Okay, there is, there's a, okay, this just came out. There's a circle quote. I kind of really want to use this on the purple. Do I go on the purple or do we do it on the red? I kind of like that right there. Okay, let's let's do that. I'm actually really glad that that page completely came out. Okay, so I'm going to kind of put this to where it's like slightly on the border of the red. And one thing I've really learned with these white stickers on the clear is that you have to like actually push down on it to that's not gonna work <laughs> let's see if this works um let's try this one like you have to push down on it to make sure that it gets all of the bubbles out they have like these little squeegees that are made for stickers for really pushing the stickers down i wish i had one okay we're gonna leave it like that and i'm gonna trim that off but I think so far I really like that up there actually okay now let's this kind of thinking would be really cute I think to put like a floral going alongside one of these circles it's so awkward it kind of feels so awkward to like peel these stickers off and what I will do after I'm done recording, um, like I'm going to really go through and push these down and really clean up the sticker. So then that way it photographs really nicely. Okay. I want to see what else that we have. Like 
Like I definitely want to use more of the floral. So let's just take this one out too, because then this way I can actually be able to put it up to the paper and really decide what I want to do. Like, ooh, like I think this would be really cute alongside of that. I really love these white stickers. Um, I know that the Fresh Botanical book has some stickers that are on a black background. I kind of, I kind of wonder how those would, would work. I think that those would may work really, really nicely. Do we want, okay. So I also have to kind of decide how I'm going to use this. I'm not really sure now. I also kind of wish that I had like put these on there. So the grid was like straight up and down instead of kind of slightly crooked, but that's okay. That's okay. Let's go ahead and let's kind of start using the acrylic graphs. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to use the black. Oh, some of these I didn't even get started. So whenever you buy the acrylographs, and I do have um, an affiliate link in my um, my description for the acrylic for the acrylographs, um, I have a ten percent off code. Some of the, like you can use the code on some product. You can't use it on all the product, but usually what you have to do is you have to shake it really, 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 really well. And then take it to the paper push it down and then it'll start to flow and then when you're done using it just I just take like a paper towel and just kind of gently wipe off the tip and then put it back because then the next time you use it you got to shake it again so what I was thinking was just I don't know just kind of doing like some doodles or something around it's like I'm not really sure what I'm doing I love how the acrylographs show up on white paper or on black paper. Okay, so this is a green. Oh, this one I do have started. So perfect. So I'm just going to do. So I'm going to do something similar, but not exactly the same. And apparently I smudged this one a little bit. So let me just kind of fix that. Okay, that looks cute. And then I have a blue. Yeah, this one I got started the other day. I love, 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 love these really pastel colors. And I have this rice paper that I think would be a really good one for the yellow. So this one has not started. Maybe by shaking these, I can get rid of all like my little arm fat jiggle. Hold it down so then that way it can help the ink flow go back to shaking there we go it's starting to flow and you really want to do this like you actually want to take your time to shake them because that's truly how you know for a fact that the ink because this is acrylic paint basically um, it's gonna be nice and mixed up and it, that's gonna really give it that opaque look Okay, so now we're gonna do the yellow one. I might actually add to the purple. Yeah, let's add to the purple. Uh, 
All right, I think that that's kind of fun. And red, okay, so I have two different colors for red. Um, one is a pink quartz, one is a berry mist. Let's see how both of them look, and then I'll decide from there which one that I wanna use. So that's the berry, which I mean, it's like a super pale pink. <laughs> And then, oh, the pink quartz is not yet started. So press down, we go back to shaking. This is giving me an arm workout. Ooh, okay, we are gonna use the pink quartz because I think the pink quartz looks really, really pretty. And I actually like how it is, um, it's it's a lot more pink than the other one is. The other one is kind of like a pinky lilac almost. It's more lilac, I think, than anything. All right, um, I'm kind of think of like maybe what else I should add to it. Um, like I was almost actually. Let's go back to the stickers. I think I want to add some more stickers and by adding in stickers maybe just like using some of these florals in here so let's use this one because I really just want to kind of like have them coming out of the circles and then I didn't press down very hard on that because I'm going to take this to trim away. I don't know how how well that these stickers will trim, so we'll see. Um, they actually did a really good job. That looks cute. And I kind of need something like over here. Yes, I love, I love these white stickers. Um, if you have not purchased the white stickers from Happy Planner, I highly recommend it. Um, I'm gonna see if I can like make a note to myself to remember to leave a note in the description that'll take you directly to them. But I think that they are super fun. I love the black paper. Like I love doing something different. And I think the black paper gives you a lot of the ability to do something different. Okay, I am gonna I'm taking all of these out just so that way I can actually like look at it. Cause I wanna do something else, but I'm not sure which one to do. I'm not sure I wanna use any of those. All right, this is the last sheet in it. There's only five sheets in the pack, so do keep that in mind. Oh, I like this one that says, do what you love. And I could like, I could put that right there. Let's do that. I'm wondering if I had to try to use the sticker for a different spread. And then, there you go, you can kind of see it. I don't know, for whatever reason, it's, it doesn't look like that is a white. It looks like it's kind of like a pale blue, almost. Hmm, I don't know, I like it. I like it, and I don't think there's gonna be anything else, but what I would love to do, and this is kind of what I'm really struggling with because I'm not artistic. I would love to be able to like add in my own florals. And I'm kind of a little nervous about drawing them because of the fact that I'm not artistic. So maybe what I will do, okay, let's see what color do I want. Um, I kind of wanted this rice paper. I really, really love the color of this rice paper. So maybe I could like draw a couple little florals and then cut them out and put them down this way. 
This way I'm drawing on the actual black paper. Mm, no, okay. All right, this is what we're gonna do now. Um, I think I want to take some dots. So because I'm too scared to draw on this, let's just go ahead and kind of finish off the functionality of this. So what I have are these little swivel stickers from the Happy Planner. Um, these came with the Work Plus Lifeline, and I love using these for my work planner, but I decided that um, I decided that I wanted to use them in this one as well. And so, because this one has a lot of blacks, so that's exactly what we're going to do. We are going to take my tweezers and let's actually use these little ones. I'm going to use this and then right above it is what I will like write down what I what I want to do. So this one is going to be a to do. Um, I wonder how this green would look with it. I might actually grab some darker acrylographs to write on that or I'll just use regular pen as well, but I'm gonna put down one of those for each of them. And that will kind of like notate where the header is gonna go. Part of me, part of me is really tempted to do something crazy. Okay, this is actually what I'm gonna do because of the fact that the dot grid paper is like crooked that's exactly how I'm going to use these circles. Um, with the exception of this one and this one I kind of messed up. Let's take this off. Um, I will figure out how to fix the yellow, but I will fix it in or by, by the time that um, I go to post the photo on Instagram, I will definitely have to fix the yellow. But yeah. We're going to use these circles completely diagonal. It's just going to give it like a lot of fun. And then this one is going to go like that. All right, now we're going to use the circles. I think we're going to use the circles. Yeah, let's use the paper circles because I tend to like to use those up first. I prefer the, um, like the, the more of like the uh, clear, clear sticker paper, especially for dots. So I'm going to just use up the paper one so then that way I can be able to use the clear sticker paper sooner. All right, I just kind of followed like the curve of the circle. And then we're going to do the same for the green. Let's move on to the yellow or the, the purple. What color are we doing? <laughs> purple. So I started this video literally having no idea, like no, no picture in my head of how that, that this was going to turn out. And I was a little nervous about it, but as I've been like putting it together, I kind of really, really like it. All right, and now the yellow. Oh, 
Also, I just realized that when I was um, when I was planning, I just remembered <laughs> when I was planning in my monthly for this week, I actually had an idea of how I wanted to do the spread for um, for next week in my monthly. And by using the blackout paper, I completely, I completely went off of that. So maybe next, um, the following week that I do. Okay, so now at this point, I'm just punching the purple um, and the yellow from the mushroom. I'm using the We Are Memory Keepers. It's a single mushroom punch. But for something like this, I... I honestly prefer like I know that it'd be a lot faster to use a regular punch like the regular happy planner punch but I prefer this one so in this way I can make sure that each one is perfectly lined up I really love this all right so now let's go ahead and glue this down to this page so I'm just taking my Tombow adhesive I always go along the top I just do like a couple of lines making sure that it goes straight to the edge and then go along the side and then I go in between the mushroom punches getting as close to the edge as I can it's, if it's not perfect it's not the end of the world and then I basically line it up without putting the paper down too too much because if you put it down just a little bit, you can at least line it up, but still be able to pull it up if needed. Okay, that's, I think that's good enough. I love it. I super, super love it. All right, we're gonna put this in here and I'm gonna really quickly fix that yellow. All right, so spread is finished. I'm trying to push my mess off to the side. So spread is finished. I have put like the smallest piece over it. I don't think it's, too, I mean, it's not gonna bother me as I'm using it, that's what matters. But I really love how this turned out. I think it turned out super, super cute. Um, and I cannot wait to use it for my social media. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and um, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and enjoy the next video.